Hi guys, what's happening? Welcome to RTH Tech TV. This is Samsung Galaxy M31s and today in this video, let's see some best features of this phone. It's gonna be a software walkthrough video guys. So it's gonna be a little longer video. Make sure to watch this video till the end. And also guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And guys, take a minute, hit that subscribe button and press that bell icon as well. All right guys, let's move on with the features then. Now the first best feature according to me is the fingerprint gesture. Now, as many of you guys know, the fingerprint is actually placed in the power button itself um, and there is a gesture associated with it so you can actually swipe down on the fingerprint sensor to get to the notification tray or the quick toggles uh, as this phone has 6.5 inch display guys it's a pretty big display so definitely this feature will come in handy and it seems to be a practical feature as you can notice you can access the notification tray or the quick toggles pretty conveniently if you guys feel it's not convenient then you can always use the on-screen gesture that is you can swipe anywhere on the screen to get to the notification tray or the quick toggles as uh, you can notice now guys uh, there is uh, now we'll see where to enable or disable this feature but there is another function associated with the fingerprint sensor that is um, this is also called a side key or the power button so you can actually double press this uh, side key to quickly access the camera application so if you have any action scenes going around you then you could actually uh, capture that moment without wasting any time now there is a customization also available with the side key function that is you can open any application uh, other than camera application i'll quickly show you how to change that so you can go to advanced features and uh, you can go to side key and here you can open any application so if uh, i choose to open calculator application then i'll have to press this radio button go to the settings and uh, you know choose the calculator over here so now whenever i press this power button that is the side key so i can quickly access the uh, calculator no matter in what uh, screen i am so again this is pretty handy feature guys now quickly let's see where to enable or disable that uh, fingerprint gesture again you can go to the advanced features you can go to motions and gestures and uh, here you can see something called as fingerprint gestures click on that and you can enable this and there are also a lot of other things like you have lift to wake you have double tap to wake we'll see that in a minute there is also smart stay guys smart stay uh, which you can find on many samsung phones that is uh, the screen is always on when you're looking at it and there are also some other things like uh, you have smart alert that is uh, you'll get notification if you have any missed calls through vibration uh, easy mute that is you can place your uh, hand or you can place down the phone to mute the calls and uh, you have uh, palm swipe to capture guys we'll see that in a minute uh, you also can swipe to call or send messages these are generally found on many samsung phones we'll quickly see the lift to wake and double tap to wake guys so you can double tap to turn on the screen or uh, you could also lift to turn on the screen and if you use it in combination with the face unlock then uh, you don't need to use the fingerprint sensor at all so it's pretty convenient again guys and um, let's move on with some unique features and some interesting features now as many of you guys know there is something called as pop-up uh, window so let's quickly see how to access that for example if i have to access the pop-up window i'll have to go to multitasking tray and click on the application icon and uh, i'll get i'll get a lot of options over here so there is something called as open in pop-up view so if you open this then you can access this pop-up window across the screens as you can notice you can access this and this actually enables the multitasking uh, it enhances the multitasking abilities now there are some functions associated with this pop-up view guys let's quickly see them so first is you can adjust the transparency so you can see the first icon over here click on that and you can actually adjust the transparency of this window uh, so it becomes see-through and you could see through the, the that pop-up window as you can see you can adjust the transparency uh, second is you could uh, also uh, change them into some uh, sort of button icons that is minimize them and uh, as you can see and these icons are actually movable guys across the screen and they are um, accessible across the uh, screens so as you can see if i have to open this pop-up window i can do that from anywhere across the phone and uh, there is a the third option is you could also maximize this this, uh, this uh, window now again to enhance the multitasking abilities guys you could also use the uh, multitask that is split screen view or the multi uh, multi window screen so you can click on that and uh, click another uh, application and as you can see you can adjust the screens and uh, enhance the multitasking abilities so at any given time you can be open two application simultaneously now uh, as i mentioned guys there is something called as 
uh, swipe to capture so that means uh, one second let me just open this one so you can swipe from edge to edge to take the screenshot as you can notice and the traditional way is to uh, press the power button and the volume down button as many of you guys know one second as you can see guys next you could also capture the long screenshot that is you could capture all the vertical content in one single screenshot itself let's quickly see how to do that so let's do the palm swipe uh, let's capture it then you'll get a toolbar guys click on the first icon over here and then uh, you can uh, capture the long screenshot it's a uh, static guys it's not dynamic as you can see the user has to press uh, till the complete menu ends the thing is with other phones is it automatically captures the complete long screenshot as you can see now we have the long screenshot available uh, it could have been better if it was dynamic that is it could have done it automatically uh, next up guys we have something called as game booster which is again very important let me explain that for you guys if you open any game now this is dynamic guys it changes from game to game now there is an icon at the left bottom corner so if you click over here then uh, you'll get access to this game booster mode so here it will give the information about uh, how much hours could you play this game with the current battery charge as you can see i could play this game for 10 hours 10 minutes then you can also lock these navigation buttons as you can see these navigation buttons are gone now and uh, you could also uh, lock the screen you could uh, take a screenshot of uh, what you're playing and also record what you're playing which is again very important guys so if you want to upload some gameplay videos you could always do that using this record button and then you could also monitor the temperature over here and uh, you could also uh, monitor the memory so again this is pretty handy guys and it changes from game to game so you could always use this one and um, you know enhance your gaming capabilities next up guys this phone also has always on display that is you can get some relevant information on the lock screen once you tap the screen as you can see you can get information about time date uh, percentage battery percentage uh, information about your music as you can notice and on the lock screen as well uh, so all this information could be enabled under the settings i'll quickly show you how to do that now this is again very important guys now this always on display uh, actually works pretty well with uh, the amoled displays because only these pixels will be lighted so not a lot of battery would be consumed to you know uh, execute this process so definitely this is again pretty helpful this phone has amoled display and this um, always on display is definitely helpful so quickly let's see where to enable this one and uh, let's see uh, there is something called as uh, face widgets as well let's see about that so as you can see if you go to lock screen uh, you can actually enable this one that is always on display and there are a lot of settings guys you could always go ahead and explore these um, and there is something called as face widgets as well so you could enable that and you could also reorder these things on how you want them to appear on the lock screen and also you know on the off screen so you can definitely go ahead and try these now another very interesting thing guys many many of you guys might know this but there are some people who might not know as well so if you go to a folder you could always add items to this folder for example if i have to add this flip card application i could always do that to the folder as you can see importantly guys i could also color code this uh, folder so as you can notice uh, i could color code this into red color so if i go here and if i color code this then uh, i could see that this folder is in red color so it's pretty much easily accessible and also looks uh, pretty good uh, next up guys this phone also supports reverse charging i'll quickly show you that but before that i want to tell about this uh, type c headphones as well this has type c port and it does support these type c headphones if you have uh, one you could definitely use them uh, but the thing is you cannot take calls as of now but you could listen to music using these type c headphones so let's check the reverse charging feature now so this is the cable which has been provided in the box and uh, this has type c on both ends so let's uh, connect it to another phone which has uh, type c port as you can see it started charging guys so you can charge another phone using this phone so definitely it works perfectly fine and um, i was surprised by the fact that it also does the quick charging i don't know how but it uh, it's not the normal charging guys it also does the quick charging that's a pretty good thing next up guys if you go to camera application there are some things to be mentioned over here if you go to video mode and if you hit record button 
uh, then there is an option wherein you can switch between uh, cameras that is front camera and the rear camera uh, in this video itself that is as you can see the timer is running and i could easily seamlessly switch between uh, front camera and the rear camera as you can notice so definitely if you're vlogging and if you want to show something you don't need to require to um, you know record two different videos and stitch them later you could all do that in single video itself that's again pretty convenient and you also have something called a single take so it will capture multiple pictures and you will have multiple uh, videos as well so you'll have different types of pictures like uh, black and white picture uh, normal picture and some uh, filtered picture and also some some videos so you can definitely use that as well and uh, if you go to more then uh, you have pro mode so under pro mode you could um, set uh, autofocus uh, white balance uh, exposure you know and uh, shutter speed iso etc so if if you need that pro mode definitely this phone has that all so you could also set the you know autofocus that's again pretty helpful but this isn't available for video this is available for only photos uh, next if you go to uh, more then you also have option to capture uh, slow motion videos there is also something called a super slow motion video and also hyperlapse option is available that is you could capture time lapse videos without any issues next uh, very importantly guys we'll speak about digital well-being and parental controls now if you feel that you're spending a lot of time on uh, some application for example i have spent three or five minutes on uh, youtube itself so if i want to limit that i could always do that using uh, by setting the app timers uh, so you could uh, select that uh, select the restricted timing for certain applications this is again pretty helpful and there is something called as focus mode we'll have a look at that in a minute uh, wind down is a feature wherein uh, you can completely turn your phone into black and white or uh, the gray scale as you can notice you can set a particular time and then you know turn uh, your phone completely black and white uh, under that uh, timing as you can see and uh, if you there is uh, there is also parental controls so using uh, the google's family link application you could uh, supervise the phone or monitor the phone and you could also keep an eye on uh, screen time and a lot of other things uh, the content which is being downloaded etc so you can uh, definitely try this out and uh, as i mentioned guys we'll have a look at the focus mode now there are some modes here like work mode personal mode or the me mode so you can select certain applications over here uh, you could also edit these you can add some applications whichever you want and uh, only these applications will be available rest will be deactivated uh, for example let's quickly start that so to start that you could start it from there as well or you could go to uh, this you no know, quick toggles and uh, you have an option to start over here something called as focus mode so if you turn that on so for example there are two modes which i have selected work time and me time uh, you could also add some other modes as i mentioned earlier so if you click start then uh, except the applications which were selected over there others will be deactivated as you can see now if i have to open this gallery i could not do that because i have deselected that application over there so as you can notice only the applications which i have opened will be accessible right uh, so let's quickly deactivate this by going to quick toggles again next up guys this phone has dark mode for that you'll have to go to settings display and you can enable the dark mode over here and you can see that the complete settings panel has now turned to the dark mode and also the notification tray guys it has also turned to the dark mode now this is actually helpful in two ways guys uh, first thing it's pretty good on eyes uh, especially at night because there is very little light coming from the display second it also saves battery as i've earlier explained this has amoled display and only these uh, pixels are lit so definitely this it's helpful in two ways uh, next let's turn this uh, dark mode uh, off right now and this also has blue light filter guys again this is pretty helpful uh, at night so you can turn it on and uh, this actually changes the colors uh, the displays color to uh, yellowish tint and that's again good at night uh, it will actually restrict the amount of blue light coming from the display next up guys we also have customization for navigation bar so here you can change um, the navigation bar you can have the back button on the left side or on the right side as you can see like the motorola devices uh, or on the uh left side like samsung or redmi devices next you could also use the gestures guys uh, if you don't want to use the buttons uh, you can swipe uh, from uh, the center to go to the home uh, swipe from the left bottom corner to go to the multitasking tray 
and uh, swipe from the right corner to go to back and uh, there are two types of gestures actually available so if you go to more options then uh, you can uh, select between these two types you can explore that later on next up guys to enhance the single handed mode we have one handed mode available over here and for that uh, you'll have to swipe this home button towards the bottom as you can see you can access the single handed mode so you can uh, the screen size will be reduced and you can easily access the uh, phone's display uh, you can click on the black area to get back to the normal mode there are actually two ways to access this guys let me quickly show you where to enable or the disable this one so you'll have to go to settings you'll have to go to advanced features and uh, here you'll have something called as one handed mode so you can enable this one so there are two types here guys one you could use the gesture uh, that is the one which i've shown here and uh, second one is button so you can double tap uh, the home button to you know enter the uh, one handed mode so whichever is convenient you could go ahead with that one and uh, second next guys you have dual messenger available that is uh, you can create two accounts uh, for whatsapp facebook etc works like dual apps uh, it works perfectly fine without any issues now under the advanced features itself guys we have something called as reduced animation so if you click on reduce animations um, as you can notice the phone feels a lot faster uh, the animation in opening applications has been reduced so as you can see it opens very quickly so you could also use this if you don't need the animations next up guys we have something called as auto factory reset so if you go to settings and lock screen i'll let you know what that actually means if you go to secure lock settings uh, here you can actually find a um, setting called as auto factory reset so if your phone gets lost and if the person tries to uh, you know open the lock screen 15 times 15 incorrect times then it will automatically factory reset your phone you could enable this feature to keep your phone a step safer uh, next guys this uh, phone has inbuilt call recording now one of our user actually had asked me to install third party applications and check yes i have checked but the quality is not that good inbuilt call recording quality is pretty good now to access that you'll have to go to settings over here so click on the three buttons uh, three dot buttons click on the settings and uh, here you can see that you can automatically uh, record the calls uh, we can also do the wi-fi calling which is available you could uh, access it from here or you could access it from the uh, notification tray as well so as you can notice you could access the wi-fi calling from here now quickly guys let's see how to reorder this one so you could also customize these uh, this quick toggles so you can go to the extension button over here click on the three buttons you can you have uh, something called as button order so using this you can change the position of this one and uh, as you can see you could move these applications uh, even between the pages so definitely this works perfectly fine you could uh, scan the qr codes uh, you also have uh, something called as uh, smart view so using this uh, you can connect your phone to the tv and a uh, lot of other modes like ultra data saving mode you could always use these now quickly guys if i have to show you about ultra uh, battery saver so you'll have to go to settings and uh, you'll have to go to device care then you'll have to go to battery and here uh, you have something called as uh, power mode so click on this and if you click on the maximum power saving mode guys so if you click on apply then it will completely turn your phone into sort of feature phone so it will uh, dim the brightness it will reduce the cpu speed right turn off always on display restrict the background data as it's showing limit the number of usable applications it will turn on the dark mode uh, turn on the biometrics that is fingerprint sensor and all and it will turn your phone literally into a uh, feature phone as you can see you can only call message or use internet or you can also add applications guys so if i want to add calculator here i could always do that so it will limit the usage of the phone so you could also uh, exit from this um, you know ultra data saving ultra battery saver by clicking on the three dots over here and you can turn off the power saving mode next up guys the theme store on this uh, m31s is also pretty good uh, so using this you can completely change the look and feel of the uh, device so definitely after uh, mi's theme store i feel samsung has pretty good theme store you can change literally the wall wallpapers themes icons everything so definitely it's pretty versatile uh, next up guys this phone also has dolby atmos uh, so for that you'll have to go to settings uh, sounds and vibration and um, you have something called a sound quality and effects so once you connect the headphones you could uh, enable the dolby atmos feature over here 
and uh, next guys a lot of people actually ask me how to enable the battery percentage over here as you can notice the battery percentage is not showing currently i'll quickly show you how to do that so you'll have to go to notifications uh, you'll have to go to status bar and uh, enable this show battery percentage and as you can notice the battery percentage is being shown now and guys i actually forgot to mention about the battery and uh, the charger which is being provided so the charger is 25 watt charger this phone has 6000 mAh battery and uh, to charge this completely uh, it took around 2 or 5 minutes or so and uh, i did get 11 to 12 hours of screen on time which is pretty uh, good on this phone so that's it guys if you feel this video was informative give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family follow us on twitter at rch tech tv subscribe to us on youtube most importantly thanks for watching and i'll see you real soon